in terms of passion, I think for photography, a few other people have asked me before, and I felt it's it's almost sounds cliche, but it felt like it's from the life I've been going like leading ever since I was a kid. I think that the experience I had leaving China, the experience I had building my own life in England, uh, being a kid, and I think everything to do with that. I think of course to do with my my love or my interest in lighting. I think it's all started from there. I studied at film school and uh, it's the one in Bournemouth called Bournemouth University. Um, I, I think I studied it because I didn't know how else to get in, in, into filmmaking. But then again, I think filmmaking is about making the film instead of going to university. So I'm, I don't regret it, but I think I would advise people not to actually do it. <laughs> The Norton project I did in, 19, in uh, 2005, 2006, and then I did Philip Lim in 2010, and Dove, which is I'm doing in 2011. So it kind of, you know, it's, it's going to do a very long period of time. For, for Dries, it was a very early on where fashion films sort of been thought about, been looked at by fashion designers. And I think Dries has been a, such a beautiful, you know, amazing visual artist that he just didn't have a brief. I think the whole brief was, I want to do something beautiful. That was the brief from, from the beginning to the end. And I just, I was just lucky enough to be on board and he just said, do whatever you wanted to do. You have to understand where it goes as a final product. What's the platform where it's being screened as in the theater or TV or internet? Because for certain kind of t um, audiences, you make different, you know, very different product. Talk about Phil Lim and I was very, very, lucky to be chosen and as a one of the artists uh, to promote the brand and in China as this first kind of master branding uh, with a collaboration with the artist and with the Len Crawford. It was fun again because I think the only brief I had was uh, you ha they have to wear this one piece of outfit that was it and and the second thing probably I would guess as a as kind of as a brief it would be something like the Phil, what defines a Philip Lim girl. So I really had to do some research. What is for you know what other clothes he designed? What kind of women he designed clothes for? Um, for Dove, that is the first project I directed where it has an age advertising agency involved, and which is a very big advertising agency. So I think it's a little bit kind of way different way of working. But so far they just they give me a brief, a treatment. I get a point, but I didn't like it, and so I just said, "Can I just take the point and just use it and uh, change it entirely?" They said, "It's up to you." So I basically just ditched the whole, I tr trashed the treatment in the bin, and created a new treatment and script. And fingers crossed. There is um, definitely a minimum sort of budget. It's not to do with my fee or anybody's fee. I think it's to do with the guarantee of quality of for artwork because you can have these amazing ideas and you have no money to deliver it or you compromise it because you don't have enough money. I think is is you know is is not a, a great ideal situation. Obviously, I still shoot more films, and I think for films, cameras, every camera is exactly the same. It does the, almost does the job. I'm not a great fan of a digital filmmaking, but I've been doing a lot of them in the past three years. My favorite camera so far is the, the Ari um, new, um, new camera, HD camera called the Alexa. It's just so good, so beautiful. But more importantly, is to do with the lenses, which is why I'm, I literally, for the first time in my life, I invested a set of cook lenses. They're just my favorite lenses on the planet, and I would just want to travel with them all the time. I'm interested in lighting because I think that gives set to the mood for a story, and I think that's the most important thing for as a cinematographer, that's what you do. And of course, as a director, you, you set your mood by lighting as well as by having the story. The story had to be there first. You know, sometimes the camera doesn't have to move. 
Um, and of course I love movement, but if I have to choose between lights and camera, definitely I think lighting is much more important. I think my idea of way of lighting is min use minimal lighting, use as much natural light as possible, and uh, set a simple, simple mood where you can add later. In terms of creative block, I think I have that all the time. I think it is a very important part of a creative process. I think, you know, you can never know what you want and then you, you're always stuck. And I, for example, there's one terrible one I'm experiencing right now. And I think there was a one idea I had to write for a feature film and I had it all in my head. And I, when, when the time I come to put it on a paper, it's taken me four years to put it down on a paper and I'm still having, I think each block you have, you go past that block and you continue writing it. And then, you know, lots to do with the film was about kind of something I experienced when I was a child. And a part of memory was lost, a part of memory was so vivid, I didn't want to kind of face. It was kind of things like that. Because I think to what I do, it to do with a very personal project, even they're not personal project, like say the dub project, they're not personal. But at the same time, they get, definitely has my personal um, signature in it. And when it gets personal, you're always going to have block. I believe, I think, with all different formats of art, so you call it feature film or fashion film or art or documentary film, I think they're all going to come together. I mean, I think documentary film now is more and more involved, is more like a dramatized documentary. Films now more like a want to replicate re reality. And fashion want to do films and, you know, narratives. I think everybody want to kind of create stories. That's where, where it kind of connects all the art format. And I think art house films don't exist anymore. I think commercial film, a proper commercial film, try to make into art house films. So I think everybody is trying to collaborate with each other or, or people who come from different fields or, diff or you know, try to experiment with the formats and they're not really a genre they're not really familiar with. And I think it's a good thing. It's a very exciting.